Hello, this is Deborah Baker with Trusted CISO, and today I'm going to be talking about ChatGPT and using it for your tech job. Now let's get started. Now the first thing you need to think about with ChatGPT is that it's public. So don't ever share private information, sensitive information, IP addresses, host names, personally identifiable information. Always keep whatever your question is very general. So for your tech job, there's several ways you can use ChatGPT. One of the things is you could have it help you write a security policy. But remember, you have to keep it really high level and general and not specific to your company. Also, you can ask it what are the best practices to secure your corporate network. You also could ask it about a specific vulnerability and how to protect against it. And so we're going to look at um, asking these questions to ChatGPT and the responses that we get. So here we see we've got the, um, I asked about an SQL injection, what it is and how to protect. I actually got some really good information on this. And it's talking about validate user input and limit permissions. It's got a lot of really good information here. Use a web application firewall. Now in the next one, I asked what are the best practices for securing a corporate network? And it, it runs through it, you know, use strong authentication, two-factor authentication. You want to segment the network ensure your software is up to date, use encryption, and it keeps going through. Monitoring your network. So you get a lot of good information. It's really like, you know, high level, but it gives you, you know, it hits the high points. And if you were actually doing a write-up, you could just expand on what it's giving you. So the next thing I asked ChatGPT is what is the latest information security news? And it didn't give me like the most recent, but it talked about over the past few years, what were the large, you know, large hacks and data breaches and things like that. So, I mean, if you keep up with this, a lot of this wasn't necessarily new. Um, probably the best place to get the latest information is on Twitter, but it still, you know, it was interesting to see. And if you're new to information security, definitely can get you up to speed. Now there's this new Chrome extension called AIPRM. And what you need to do is go into Chrome and you basically search for it. And what it does is it gives you a lot of, um, there's already like these different, they're not plugins, but they call them prompts. And depending on what you want information on, you know, whether it's YouTube or SEO or, you know, they don't have anything for information security. But it is just, it's interesting. You can set more like your tone, writing style, just more details about what it is. And so I wanted to point this out. This, this is something that you're really going to want to install and play around with. Now, some other ways that I've used ChatGPT is to help me with interview answers. Earlier in the year, I was actually interviewing for some CISO positions. And again, you want to ask it questions that you understand the information. It's not something completely new because sometimes it does have incorrect answers, but that's ways. Also, if um, you want to write an article, maybe a blog post, go ask GPT about whatever it is you want um, to write on and it will give you. So here I ask Cat GPT to write a data classification policy for company XYZ. So again, because you want to keep it really general. And it, it does a pretty good job. It goes through and it and um, describes the different levels that you can use, the responsibilities that employees have. And again, whatever information that you get from Chat GPT, you you know, you always want to vet it. You always want to um, because every once in a while you will find mistakes, but it gives you a good starting point where you can take it and expand it and customize it for your company. Now, what will you do with ChatGPT? To say thank you for watching, remember to subscribe, like, and hit the bell for notify. Thanks for watching.